Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Name WeatherAid's most accurate forecast since 2008. Welcome back on this Christmas Eve. Hopefully you've been nice this year because Santa Claus is on his way. Aside from tracking weather, we're tracking Santa. He just went to Ireland, stopped there, maybe had a Guinness, dropped off a couple presents, and then he's on his way to Iceland now. So soon enough, he'll be in Pennsylvania. Kids, get ready. And remember, no peeking at those presents. As for radar, you can see a couple of snow showers still out there right now, but these have really died down from what we were looking at earlier today. Not so much left, and they'll keep dying down as we move a little bit later into the evening. Again, you can see a lot of clear space here on radar. So not too bad when it comes down to it, especially if you have to travel at all. Now, right now in Sealands Grove, it's 33 with a dew point of 24. That's not too shabby, especially considering we are looking at a little bit of precipitation. It feels, though, like 25. You might have heard me say earlier, wind speeds picking up. Well, they already are, and they're going to kind of stay that way for the next, the next 24 hours. But road conditions, also something you want to be aware of, of course, if you are traveling to see family and friends for the holiday. You can see a little bit of snow up in the northern tier right on the New York border here and even a little bit further south. So make sure that you are taking it slow. We could see just a little black ice, but honestly, considering the fact that precipitation is on its way out, it's not too bad. Just leave a little extra time. When you wake up tomorrow morning, we're looking at the mid-20s, 26 in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, 24 in Mount Pocono. Same in Hazleton, 28, nice and warm in Williamsport. And we are going to see those temperatures slowly but surely increase. How much? Well, not too much, but for this time of year, it's really not too bad. Not a white Christmas, but a somewhat sunny one. We're seeing 30 if you wake up at 8 o'clock. By the time we get to lunchtime, we're looking at the mid-30s and then cooling down a little later in the evening. Again, that breeze keeps up, so it actually feels cooler than what you're looking at there. Keep that in mind as you go outside. But thankfully, that's really the only thing you have to worry about. This is future cast moving through tonight. And you'll see again already these snow showers start to dissipate. And we're looking at a little lake effect snow up north and a little bit closer to central Pennsylvania. But here in northeast Pennsylvania, we're really in the clear. A flurry here or there, but that's the biggest worry you've got. Tonight, a little recap for you. We're looking at the mid-20s, mostly cloudy, breezy, and cold. Tomorrow, more of the same. We're looking at the mid-30s, but with that wind, it's going to feel a little bit closer to 30 on the dot. Mostly cloudy and not too bad overall for your Christmas day. As we move into Wednesday and Thursday, we see even more sunshine. We're looking at slightly warmer temperatures as well, but then we shoot back up into the low 50s as warmer air and low pressure pushes in from the south and also unfortunately brings us rain. We turn to snow, a few snow showers early in the morning Saturday and a couple left over for Sunday and Monday as well. But download the Eyewitness Weather app. That way you're prepared for all of this active weather coming our way. But that's it for your forecast right now. We'll be back with more after the break.